You know what the craziest thing is this season? It's that this studio has given me a reason to like Rachel. And hear me out. You've seen my reactions in season one. I despise Rachel. But I've realized the actual value and worth of Rachel through last episode. After so many episodes of mid fight and this shitty adaptation that just ruins this amazing series known as Tower of God, Rachel doing the heinous thing that she did last episode made me actually start to get excited and feel feelings again. Of hate, of course, and anger. But it's like, damn. I'm kind of feeling the original, you know, the elements, the, the original shit that I felt about Tower of God thanks to Rachel all over again. So this shitty studios adaptation is making me realize that Rachel is hard carrying Tower of God right now. Yup, I'm saying it. Rachel is hard carrying Tower of God right now, at least last episode, because the fights ain't fucking doing it, man. Um, plot wise, Horyang is dead? I don't buy it. He did get stabbed through the stomach, but, you know, Kasano is carrying him off, and now we have this new faction of Bunny Girl, Kasano, and other people that's backed by Fug. Rachel is also apparently backed by Fug. Apple and the other dude betrayed. Don got stabbed like crazy. The chicken is already dead and making it into barbecue. Things are entering a new stage of Tower of God as we work towards the workshop arc. Let's begin today's reaction. Sweet sweet and pork, you came too late. Wait. <laughs> the prince and Wangnan actually have cosplay to look like Horyang here? Is isn't this his jacket basically? Oh, hey, our party. Damn. Hot. And Dorsey, Shibisu. Anak! I don't really remember these two though. I don't know these two. ETV. <gasps> Blue turtle! Missing! It's all part of the plan though, right? Y'all remember this guy? I I don't remember these dudes from season one. I, I don't know. I offer these sacrifices for the birth of a new slayer. <laughs> And that Slayer could be, you know, bomb, but I doubt he wrote this shit. It's like, you know, Bunny Girl probably wrote this shit and left it. Oh, warning from Juvial Grace. Yo! Everybody, and I don't know who this guy is that's outside of frame. Where's Rack Wraith Razor? But it is so nice to see the core members that we actually give a fuck about from season one, man. Great to see them again. Did he get a new sleep? Oh. I think that's right. But did he get a new sleeping bag? I don't know. I'm just trying to think like, did he get like new drip or something? Rack? Rack Wraith Razor, is that you? What's he doing? Training? Paracule? Paracule the goat? Nice. <laughs> What? Nani? No, Rack knows the truth. Let's go, Rack! Save us, please! Save us, Rack! There was something funny there, where Paracule was about to say Blue Turtle, but he says something weird first. Look. What does he say in Japanese? Kuzu! Kuzu? Doesn't that kind of mean, like, shit? I... May, no, I may... I think I, I don't really know Japanese, but it feels like... Uh, Paracule caught himself insulting Blue Turtle. And then, uh, yeah, it, it does make it basically mean scum or shitty person, right? And then he, he corrected himself, so... He basically shit-talked Blue Turtle for a second, and then caught himself. God damn it, Paracule, why are you such a giga-chad? <laughs> This is where Viol is. Nobik and Rand still good. Yeah, that was a crazy fight, huh? All like three frames together. So Nobik and Rand is also with Viol. Okay. Horyang, you alive there, buddy? 
There's no way he dies. Omara. Publicity? Oh, this bunny girl is like super down to make sure that the tower, this world, will fear the slayer. Why? Why does she care so much for the cause of poor Fug? I don't know, but that's, that's interesting. She wants it more than anyone else. God damn, that would go crazy in the headlines. And that's the intention. Spread the fear. Yo, you know what else would be a crazy headline? The Slayer candidate pushed a poor girl in a wheelchair off the tower. Yeah. Poor crippled girl can't even walk. He just fucking tossed her off a fucking cliff, bro, and died. Oh my god, the headlines would go crazy. Let's try that too. Okay, workshop. Workshop party. Grant still wants that smoke. Whoa! Whoa! What, 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 what the hell did he do there? Got in between. And that was Viol, right? Yeah. And he just like stopped them after with this black red orb in his hand. <laughs> And hit the ground and they got sent flying. Yeah, that's the Novik shit, right? It is the same copy skill, right? Probably wants to... I don't know. Okay, in exchange. Huh? Huh? That's an order. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> Please join. It's for your safety. If you don't join, you'll die. I might kill you. Okay. I think he understood. Huh? All right. I mean, this party is kind of crazy. And it's unfortunate that Novik and Ran are not held in a high regard from, I'm sure, a lot of anime onlys. But apparently, they are one of the strongest E ranks right now, right? They're like it, it, top 10, right? They might be top 1 and 2. I'm not completely sure of their rankings, but these are. Some really, really strong members of the E ranks, and if we're just comparing everyone else, you know, in, with our party, like it's pretty stacked. Here we go. Blue turtle. Oh. Okay, so it, it kills the ten families and Zahatsu, okay. Oh my. I don't know. Mm, maybe it is him. <laughs> that fucking face is so troll, bro. That that that's the I'm so sad if he died. Look at that face, bro. That, that, that frame is the most, like, unbelievable, just, like, acting skill. Look at this shit. Are you even fucking trying? And then little peek? Oh my god, look at the smug, smug ass face, bro. He's alive. Remember? Yeah, right over here. Emily knows. Yo, yo, why, why are you arguing right now? He's literally gonna die from the fires, please. Please. Do something about the fires! Oh, really? Put that shit out like a fucking candle, bro. But that's interesting. No regular water can take out the fires of the Yun family. 
電気のレディーですものこの状況で自分ってあっえ嘘 Wait! He bound her with the same bands Bad! え嘘え待て待て待て待て貸してる It's Is that the way? <laughs> Why are you tending to my wounds? He says with the scissor at the guy he saved. <laughs> like he just saved your life and just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good people. Chill. I love how she's just like completely just taken out by the bands. Like the. Like, I, I don't know, you'd think that she could just fucking break out or just fire and just move it, but she's just like, I can't do anything! Oh no! The medical bandit! Oh yeah, there is. Quarion, are you around? Classic, Quarion's not here. Grace. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the teammates are pretty trash, right? Come on now. It's a downgrade compared to season one comrades. This is a fact. This is just straight up a fact. Listen, I love AK. Prince is funny. Wangnan, Pokeballs, right? Misen, Gosen, I don't know what the fuck they do still, to be honest. But compared to season one comrades, you know. <laughs> Lord Devil. He left it? That's why he didn't have it. And that's why the bunny girl was asking where's the pocket. Yo, these Pokeballs are so strong. Blue turtle! It's actually kind of crazy how he threw the fucking Pokebomb and blew shit up and found Blue Turtle and saved him, but it could have gone the exact opposite. Like, I'm surprised, like, we saved him by blowing shit up. Betrayal. Backstab. Backstab. <sighs> You're gonna trade one long nun for pocket? He trusts him. A. A for AK? But I thought that's Gil's pocket. Workshop! Let's go! All together! Almost he fell. Right? His heart almost opened up to allow these people to be his comrades. But he can't. He needs to be cool. He needs to be calculating. He can't let anyone get too close. That's interesting. And also, I love how he's just taking full assumption of the role of leader. Bro just shows up. Just immediately threatens the people that saved him with the fucking scissor to his throat. And now it's leading him to the workshop battle. Blue Turtle, just natural leader strategist, fucking charisma, man. Very rich. Maybe the most famous. ジッカモン出身のお前とスレイヤー候補のビオレじゃ犬猿の中だろうし生きて外に出ていくところこの目で見た本当かああ。What now we're gonna fucking find out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Ramaru, da. Pion. Blood, blood on the wall, bro. Nanda yo kore. Oi. No. Done. Pion. No. Bug. F U. G. Oi, oi. 
Can Blue Turtle piece it out together? I wonder if he's big brain enough to still blame Rachel, even though the wall says fuck. Because you could just assume that, oh, fuck, members showed up and just killed him and left. But, like, you know, Rachel's gone too. Like, what's going on here? Kyle. Damn. Dan's legs, man. All the stabbing, I think, went directly to his legs, right? What Rachel did last episode. And she didn't stab, like, once, bro. There was, like, 50 separate stabs happening. Down alive! Down alive! Oh! Oh! Well, I mean, we already know that Rachel's a piece of shit. And it's not like Blue Turtle isn't aware that Rachel can fucking walk. But okay, we still have one person alive. Can you fix his legs, though? Is that possible? Is there a connection with legs and Rachel and... I don't know. Maybe she decided to stab him specifically because of that? Dan, without his hair pulled up. Will he be able to run again? Blue Turtle knows this. Mm. Now Blue Turtle knows. He's he figuring it out. He knows. Oh, the A stands for A rank. Got it, got it. I was like, A? Why did A? The AK just give him the wrong pocket? No, it's A for A rank from Yuri. Yuri well, technically it was Evan's pocket that Yuri ordered Evan to give to Bomb in episode 1 of season 1, right? Yeah, the Shinsu Paralyze. That's what Quant was using. Mm-hmm. Dude, he's figuring it out, man. Boom! Yore! Oh, my, why, you're not a car! Huh? Parion! Okay! Finally, someone with actual answers! I wonder if he's part of Fog, huh? <laughs> Did she set it all up? I love her, but I don't think she's the ultimate puppet master though, right? That's right. So, why would Hwadian just tell Blue Turtle of all these secrets that he probably shouldn't know, right? It's not really in Fug's best interest to know all these things, which kind of makes me think that Hwadian at the end of the day... ...wants... ...freedom for Bomb, For him to decide what he wants to do with his life, rather than being a soulless weapon... ...simply existing to... ...obey the whims of Fug. I don't know, it feels like... Maybe this is actually gonna help. Blue Turtle knowing the secrets is gonna help Baum become that Slayer more. But a part of me makes me feel like Farian is doing this because she does care about Baum more than just as juvial grace. <laughs> oh, we fighting? I know it's that important, but. Look at that. Right hand. Blood. Come, come on. You, 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 come on. Like, are, you, you can't even do that? Bro, oh, by the way, look at this. This is so sad right here. Fate zero, bro. Look at the performance right now. First 42 minutes. Fate zero, Excalibur, 220 views. It's literally behind the Nokotan video, bro. Fucking sad. But what I wanted to show you guys is this. Where all we had to do was just do this. Oh, come on, man. You can't even fucking do that. You, 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 you can't even fucking do that. <laughs> come, come on, man. 
私は無関係だからふざけるな勢力争いにしか興味のないファグのゲルフエルダー数人のスレイヤーが来るファグエルダーズの管理下に置きたがってるだから自分たちが選んだつまりお前も味方に裏切られたって言いたいのかその通りオッケー今さら被害者面かそこで頼みがあるのクンアゲロアグネセって優勝何をビーフアルレンアルレンの手で事件があった後 So, if Blue Turtle beats Viol at the workshop, then Viol will be basically forsaken as an actual true candidate because you weren't able to produce results. And that's like our ticket to freeing Viol from being a Slayer candidate. High rank. Jinsong. Teacher. That's right. Jinsung is actually pulling so much weight for us. Let's、mm -hmm. back on the hand. Not much. Dude, isn't this kind of crazy? How the master manipulator right now is getting manipulated? h a r y o n is. Putting on a masterclass, and I think that the cards are definitely in h u a r i o n s favor, right? Blue Turtles, he, he kind of got scammed, right? He's he getting kind of fucked. He's in a shitty position, so it,、uh, and you know, h u a r i o n did have the foresight, but it, it's like, damn, she, she literally competing with them on a level of manipulation. What? <gasps> Done! I feel like the only reason his foot is out because, like, the other foot is off, right? To like further show how much Dan is suffering. Because, like, I feel like there's no reason to have the foot fucking poking out if the other foot isn't. But it, they're just showing that one leg to see. See? He got stabbed a lot. Dan hurt it. Yeah. I want Dan to literally do the same thing that Rachel did to him. I want him to just actually make her just unable to walk. Finally, that wheelchair will serve a true purpose. Oh! Oh! There's a lot more than that. We know there's way more. Did she intentionally not end him? Did she actually get too high off of this like power trip of like, huh, you have some nice legs, huh? While I'm always acting like cripple, how about I take him away? I, I wonder if she got way too complacent and actually didn't deliver the killing blow because she, she was having this weird pleasure from torturing him. On purpose. So I could show <laughs> Okay, so she was just a little bit overconfident. Because the whole thing was just overconfident. If you're defined by that one thing, and if you're nobody without that one thing, maybe you shouldn't have it. Here, let me take your legs away, and now you can prove that you're better than just your legs. Wow, thank you, Rachel. Now Don can have a new character arc and realize what he's really all about rather than just being fast. Wow, crazy shit, huh? Oh. But now, yeah, exactly. Now you've lost literally everything. I don't know if, like, 
I don't know what he really has without his legs, but it's looking pretty good. He's got the resolve back. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> Imagine Blue Turtle just says, Yeah, I did the uh, analysis and I, I don't I think you're gonna be a liability without your legs. I'm afraid I have to let you go at this point, bro. Like all that fucking motivational speech led up. Whoa, yeah, we can finally do it together and Blue Turtle rejects. No, nah, there's no way he rejects. I would have never seen this coming, man. Everything got swapped. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Right? The newest uh, webtoon panels being filled in by the ending is the handshake between Blue Turtle and the Wang Nun. And basically, you know, fucking you are taking more L's in the screen too. But that is pretty much it for today's episode. And today's episode was actually a pretty good episode. It was. You know why? Because there was like no fights. There was no fights, meaning this fucking fraudulent studio doesn't get exposed for their shitty animation capabilities. And then on top of that, we get reintroduced to a lot of these characters that we actually care about, like Blue Turtle and like what's going on with like his old party and, and Veal. And we're going to a new stage of a workshop. The scenery is changing. The arc is getting exciting. Rachel's fucking bopping off. War matter than usual. And now we have a new goal to just like get everything back by Blue Turtle leading Team Sweet and Sour Pork and beating him at the workshop battle. Things are actually looking pretty good now. That's an episode without fights. Like, what happens during the workshop battle, you know? Because that's actually all fights. I, I hope that they'll outsource again and fucking get some actual talent that can animate the fights like we saw in the early episodes of Season 2. But that's pretty much it for me, man. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.